Hello, I'm Matthew Richardson and welcome to The Whiteboard. Today we're going to look at a player that I've had the privilege of seeing start his career at Punt Road. Welcome to the weird, wonderful, but always entertaining world of Jack Rewald. Let's have a look firstly at Jack's forward line work and he is a very, very natural forward. Coming from Tasmania, he played all of his junior football as a forward. He reads the play as well as any forward in the competition, I believe. He reads the ball off the boot of his teammates very quickly and often quicker than the defenders. That time there he gets in behind Teddy Richards and takes a good mark. He protects the drop zone very well when he is taking those contested marks also. He is a good lead at the football. He knows when to time his leads. These two examples here on show makers, they were only 10, 15 metre leads, but he timed them perfectly and he was able to put a metre on show makers. He's also very good at working his opponent under the football as he does there. Didn't get the ball, but did it well. And he also knows how to protect the drop zone. As I said, that time he protects the space for Tyrone Vickery to come in and take a mark. He really has improved his second efforts in tackling in the forward line. On that occasion, he gets back a lot quicker than Teddy Richards. Let's have a look at his goal-kicking technique now. Let's have a look at his goal-kicking. Jack is now a very, very good set shot at goal. He started this year a little bit inaccurately. I reckon that had a little bit to do with the five operations over the summer and he lost a bit of continuity with his goal kicking practice. But he does work extremely hard on this area. He's always in there on his day off with a bag of balls having a lot of shots at goal and he's not afraid to try different things. At one stage he was having shots at goal with an iPod in to try and distract himself while he was having shots. It's a very natural run up. It's not a long run up, but he gets nice momentum through the ball. And as I said, he has become a really reliable shot at goal. Let's have a look now at the way he carries himself on the field. When talking about Jack Rewalt, one thing that always comes up is the way he expresses himself out on the football field. And he has got a very vibrant personality and sometimes people, I believe, have judged him wrongly on that. It's something as a young player that he came into the game, people saw it as a negative. I think it's a huge positive in his game. He is a good leader out on the field as well. He does express himself a lot and this perception becomes a reality now and he's going to have to deal with that for the rest of his career. He is a good leader, as I said. That time there, Ben Griffiths was playing his first game on this day and Jack ran all the way from the forward line down there to encourage him and congratulate him on some good play. He's always pointing and directing other teammates where to run. He is a natural forward as we've been talking about. He knows how to set up the forward line very well. Always talking. This time here, it looked like he maybe was going to get a little bit negative with his teammate, but I reckon he checked himself, thought, no, I'm going to go up there and encourage. That's good. That shows that he has come a long way with that body language and reality stuff that we're talking about. This one here, yeah, he gets a little bit annoyed. You're going to see that on occasions. When you're the key forward in a team and all the focus comes onto you, occasionally it is going to boil over. That time there, he probably was free, didn't get the football, and yeah, lets his teammate know. As I said, every now and then it will happen. I believe as his career's gone on, it's got less and less, and there's more positives in there than negatives, but people only tend to want to look at the negatives a lot of the time. This one here is interesting. He's calling out for the runner to come over to him. He spotted something in the forward line setup that he wants to talk about. Eventually the runner does come out. Jack goes off the field and has a chat to one of the coaches on the phone. Now I reckon he was talking about something in the forward line setup that wasn't working. We don't see that a lot, but I like the fact that he's communicating with the coaches and they were obviously happy for him to come off and have a chat. He then went back onto the field and continued the game. He has got a vibrant personality. He's the life of the party around the footy club. Let's have a look at that now. This is a great collection of highlights here. Jack is a vibrant personality. He's known as a mosquito in his personality profiling and he just has to be buzzing around being a part of everything. And there's no doubt when his teammates kick goals, he enjoys it as much as when he kicks a goal himself. And that's great. This is how he is around the footy club from day to day. It's not just out on the field. It's who he is around the change rooms. And at times in the middle of winter when you're at the club and it's a bit cold and you don't want to be out there training, he can be the man that gets everyone up and gets them going for the training session. He's always getting involved, as you see. Loves having a chat to the opposition. And that's great. Let's check out some of Jack's antics on the field now.
Jack loves to have a chat to the opposition out on the footy field, that's for sure. I think he plays better when he's getting involved and having a chat to the opposition. I think Marty Matner's just made a blue there and Jack's letting him know about it. Marty's not too keen. Teddy Richards is saying, get away, Jack. Jack just wants to be a part of it. This one is funny. Playing on show and makers on this day, the old Grippo. Jack's forgot to put any Grippo on, so he's just borrowed a bit off Ryan there. Ryan's not too keen to get involved at all. I think he knows if he gets involved, he's probably not going to win this battle, so he stays out of it. And on the day, this day against the Hawks, he thought, show and makers stopped talking to him, so I'm going to get involved with Sammy Mitchell the great Hawks champion. Sammy's always loved to chat on the field and he was always going to come back at Jack. And this developed into a running battle for the whole day. Here we see Sammy Mitchell having a snap at goal. Misses. That was just, uh, just what Jack needed. So he, uh, there he is mouthing off about him missing the shot at goal. Sammy then uh, gets involved in the next passage of play up on the wing. Has a fumble out of bounds. That gives Jack more opportunity to have a bit of a go, just to remind him that he's missed the shot. Sammy comes back at him. They were two characters there that loved to have a chat on the field, so he was always going to get involved in that. If I was playing on Jack, I probably wouldn't have a chat to him too much because he sort of enjoys it, and I think he plays his best footy when he's up and about like this, out on the ground. That was really entertaining stuff. This one is amusing. Big Mark Seavey there. You might say that he's got a big set of Port Melbourne peers there, Mark, and Jack's just reminding him. Or is it his own ears? Maybe CB was having a go at him. That's quite humorous. And this one here, the Hawthorne cheer squad member in the front row. Yeah, he's had a couple of four and twenties. Jack's just saying, mate, might be time just to hit the gym, I'd say. So there you go. He loves to get involved in all aspects of the game. And it's good fun. There's a lot of robots in the game now. So it's good to see some personality. He's got a full bag of tricks, Jack. Let's have a look at his all round game. As one of the best forwards in the game, he has got a full bag of tricks, Jack. He's nearly six foot five, or he probably is in the old language, but he moves very, very well. He can do all of the tricks, the snap around the corner. He's playing his best footy when he's running and jumping at the football like this. When he does launch at the ball, I think he's just about the best uh, contested mark in the competition. He can sit on players' heads. There's no doubt about that. This one here, this was a day out against Hawthorne. He gets the Joe the Goose. You know you're having a good day when they fall into your hands at the top of the goal square, but that's because he can read the ball off a pack beautifully. This one here, this is sensational play. He's very good at ground level. He always plays well in the wet, and that was unbelievable. He soccered the ball once out in front of himself. As we have a look at another angle of it here, soccered it with the right foot first, then bang with the left foot, kicked it in to marriage. Jack is one of those players that bring people into the gates. Punters love to watch him because you know you're going to see a full bag of tricks. He's up against the Giants this week. How do they stop him? Well, don't bother having a chat with him. He'll probably enjoy that. It'll get his excitement levels up and get him involved in the game. Don't let him launch at the football. If he gets a run and a jump at the football, he will stand on someone's head. He will take big contested marks. Try to keep him grounded. Try to get him into a wrestling contest and get a third man in assistance coming in. If you do that, you may be able to stop him. Thanks for joining us again. We'll catch you next week on the whiteboard.